Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host Bill Spicer. On this week's show we're in beautiful Labrador at Northern Lights Fishing Lodge. Our quarry for this week are three different species. We have brook trout, we have lake trout, and we have wananiche, also known as landlocked salmon. We'll talk about all the equipment, the flies, and the techniques. Everything you need to know to be successful when you come here. It's going to be a great show folks, so stay with us, we'll be right back. On this week's show, we visit Northern Lights Lodge, located in northwestern Labrador on Smallwood Reservoir. The reservoir is the source of the Churchill River. Unlike other reservoirs, water is contained not by a single large dam, but by a series of 88 dikes. Our hosts for this week are Eve St. Marie and Patty Fewer, two of the nicest people you will ever meet, and their sole purpose is to make your stay as comfortable and fish-filled as possible. At this location, you will have a choice of five different species to fish for. Brook trout, lake trout, wananiche or landlocked salmon as they are sometimes called, pike and whitefish. He missed it. Okay, this could be good. This could be good. Got some rising fish here, folks. Take it. Got him. Yes, sir. Okay, got to keep keep a tight line on him. Keep a tight line, then you can let him run. Oh yes. Now he's taking line out. This is good. This is cool. This is really cool. Yes, sir. He just ran at me. I had to strip in line. That's the most important. You got to keep control of your line. If they go too fast and you can't wind fast enough, strip it in. And trout are famous for running at you. Ah, uh, this is, uh, you know, about three pounds. No bigger, but it was on a dry fly, which is fantastic. I think we got more fish over here rising. Okay, Frank. He's just about ready to dip. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Dry flies, rook trout. Got to come here to Northern Lights. <laughs> I'll put them back down, get that fly out. One more look. And away he goes, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, that was fantastic. That's what our, our sport is all about. Fish can coming up to the top. Now, mind you, for the beginners in the audience, that only happens 10% of the time. The rest of the time, you gotta go under the surface, subsurface with nymphs, streamers. But when you got them rising like that and you see fish rising, cast to them, you're gonna have your 10% of fun right there. We like to promote family uh, at the lodge because uh, since probably 10 years, uh, men have been bringing their wives and um, and lately, the last five years, people have been bringing their children. The youngest customer we had was nine months old. And it's, it's very, it's, it's, a, it's a vacation place now. It's not just a fishing spot, like it's a vacation destination. So we have three guest cabins separate from the main lodge. And in the main lodge, we have the dining area. Um, also separate from that is the main lobby where guests um, join each other before supper or after supper for a drink and talk amongst themselves and talk about their day fishing and, and whatnot. Got him. 
That's a bigger fish too. That's a bigger fish. Come on, buddy. Running at me again. Wow. Well, this guy's this guy's going to go into my backing. I have to really be careful here. These rocks are loose. So I can't stand my ground here. He's got too much line out on me. If I don't do something, I'll lose him. But he's doing me a favor and he's swimming back towards me. This is, oh, this is a very good fish. What'd you say, eh, Frank? I was just ready to pick up and cast again, and he grabbed it. Anytime you're ready, Frank, I think I got a beat. Oh, yes, yes, sir. It's barbless. There we go. Now, now we're talking. We're getting into five pounds of fish here. Yes, sir. Now I'm just gonna wait until it kicks. And away it goes. He'll go down there and soak for a bit, but he'll be fine. Thank you, sir. I said always one of those. Oh yeah, Frank had just said, I said, I thought there was two fish there, and Frank said, wherever you get one, there's always two. And I was just about to pick up and cast again, and up come the fish and grabbed it. That was great. <laughs> So two ways you can come here. You can come by boat or by plane. So we have two, the people have two choice. One is cheaper than the other one. So what you can do, we can drive from Labrador City to where we use the boat. And we use the boat for an hour to go to the lodge. Or you have to take the plane from Wabush and flew over here. So depending the uh, the budget of uh, each person, so we have two different ways. One of the true pleasures in coming to Northern Lights Lodge is the shore lunches. Fish caught just minutes before and grilled over hot coals to create a meal like no other. Fresh fillets pan fried in a cast iron skillet take on a special flavor when cooked beside the lake from which they were taken. Fish never tasted better than when cooked over a campfire and eaten while listening to the tranquil sound of the water. The equipment needed when coming to Northern Lights Lodge are 9 foot number 6 and number 8 weight medium action rods. Ideally, a large arbor reel with a smooth drag is perfect, but that said, a spindle reel will work just fine. Make sure you bring a floating line for dry fly fishing and a full sinking line for depth control and getting deep when needed. Fish on. Boy, that didn't take long. Second cast with a streamer. The dry fly fishing settle down. So that's when it's time to change to a streamer. I got a tan colored Zuddler on. And if people have watched the show before, they know I really like Zuddlers. Uh, they're half muddler minnow and half uh, Lee, um, zonker, I should say. And it's not a very big fish, not nearly as big as that last one I got. But uh, I'm certainly happy with it. Ready? Nice little pan size. Yeah. Ah, nice little. This this is no more than a pound and a half. Yeah. But it's nice. hit a, hit a streamer. Things had things had started slowing down. 
think it's, it started slowing down. So when things slow down, you, you got to change tactics. If you don't, you're not going to catch fish because like I said before, fish only rise 10% of the time and then, then they eat under the surface. So they stopped rising, got to change tactics. It was time to head back for the evening, but Frank, my guide, said, why don't we troll for a while, as he knows a place where the Wananish, or landlocked salmon, are. Sure enough, he was right. Wananish, this is what I have on right now, which, that means it's a landlocked salmon. I'm prepared for him to jump again. He hit, he hit that really hard. This is definitely a big fish. Man, oh man, this is a good, good fish. My goodness. I didn't realize they got so large here, Frank. Yeah. Think he's only that? I don't know, I never saw him back here when he came out of the water. I think he's a little larger than five. He's certainly fighting harder than that. <laughs> I've had some five pound Atlantic salmon don't fight like this. <laughs> Here he comes. Wow. He don't like seeing the side of the boat, that's for sure. He really doesn't like seeing the side of the boat. I think this is gonna be a Kodak moment too, Barry. On a small hook, yeah. Yeah, anytime. As soon as I get him close enough. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think of that, people? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Want a niche? It looks something like a brown trout when they're landlocked. But uh, oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. The 15th of June, usually that's why we opened up the camps. And then the, the brook trout moves in around July the 15th, right up to the end of uh, August. But you will catch sleep trout all year round throughout the, the, the fishing season. So we offer uh, home-cooked meals. I like to call it comfort food. After you come in after fishing all day, you want to have a nice cooked supper, and uh, food is never a, a problem here. It's never a shortage. We have buffet style, and seconds is never a problem. Uh, desserts, there's usually a variety of desserts as well. No one ever goes hungry. We feel that our staff here at Northern Lights Lodge are the best. Um, they're here to make your stay as memorable as possible. They're going to feed you, they're going to accommodate you, they're going to do the best they can to make you happy, to make your stay here, like I said, a memorable one. The next day, Eves told us we were in for a treat. It was going to be a long boat ride, but it would be worth it, as he knew of a bay that was filled with lake trout. Common belief is that lake trout like colder and deeper water, and this bay was only about eight feet deep. This puzzled me. I soon discovered why the fish were there. This bay had three incoming spring-fed, very cold brooks flowing into it. This in turn attracted bait fish, and combined with the cold water, the lake trout were in feeding heavily. different fight. Stand down. Get them on my reel as fast as I can. And all I'm doing is, is there's rising fish around here and I'm casting to them. I have a, a clouser minnow for those who don't know what it is. It has a weighted head on it. 
And I've also got a couple of split shot. I want to make sure that it gets down because these Lakers aren't, uh, they're, they're bottom, they're deeper water fish, I should say. And I want to make sure we're getting down to them. That's another good Laker. Wowee. Lots of lake trout here. Okay, Frank, I think he's ready. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, right here. Not bad. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Away he goes. Boy, he was, uh, he was still feisty. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is great. Now, it looks like we got some weather coming. I hope, uh, I hope it doesn't blow us off the water. Flies needed when coming to Northern Lights Lodge are streamers such as purple woolly buggers in large sizes, black sparkle buggers, olive zudlers, dry flies such as orange bombers and royal wolves, and nymphs such as Copper Johns and Prince Nymphs. Got a fish on here, I got a woolly bugger on. And if the folks at home can see the foam on the right hand side, I cast it right over to the foam. And that's where he hit. And then as soon as he hit the fast water, he was gone. <laughs> See what I got here. I'm not sure what I have, whether I got a brook trout, lake trout, or a pike. Could be a pike. Don't know. Yeah. Whoa, it's a big one. It's a good fish. Uh, Frank. <laughs> I never got nervous till I seen how big the fish was. <laughs> This is a good fish. I'll see if I can steer him to you, buddy. Thank you. There we go. Now, just put him in there for now. And get you to hold the glove, hold my rod, I should say. Now, that's what we're talking about. In the fast water here, nice bright red colored rook trout. And away he goes. <laughs> Just near the boat, I was just about ready to pick it up again. And he come off the bottom and attacked it. It was kind of neat seeing it. <laughs> come on, stay on there, stay on there. Let me get my line up here. I had a lot of line out. Yes, sir. All right. It's a good one, yeah? They're all good ones. I've said this before, I've never met a fish I don't like. <laughs> you just, they don't just pull right in. You got, they'll take line out, they'll dog it, they stay down. As long as they stay down, you're not netting them. <laughs> I can't see him, Frankie. Here we go. Uh, maybe they're going to start coming back again. They, that storm seemed to have put them off a little bit. Nope. There we go. Pick him up. There we go. Got him. All right. There's a nice lake trout. Yep. Gotta love it. <laughs> Pass the net back again, Frank, please. I gotta take the, the fly out. Okay. 
Yeah, one more look at them. Well, not many places you can come to where your arm gets tired from catching so many big fish. I highly recommend you come and see Eve and Patty here at Northern Lights Fishing Lodge. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now we're putting up brand new videos all the time, so if you want to be notified when a new one goes up, click that bell icon and it'll come to you as soon as it's uploaded.